in my last lecture, I was just ending on talking about um, uh, humans emerging out of Africa, um, according to the scientific view, and you know the biblical view coming out of Middle East. I want to clarify something how I ended it. I said nobody uh, that, that there's a debate between if humans emerged out of the Middle East, meaning the biblical story of Adam and Eve, or the scientific coming out of Africa. And I said no one's uh, you know, saying that humans came out of Europe. Um, I, I was mainly referring to the mainstream kind of discourse of the cultural clashes in American culture right now. Um, but of course, there you have creation myths um, in European cultures and other cultures that do believe that humanity starts in this place that they uh, um, their culture uh, emerged from. Um, the, there's a term called autochtony, autochtony or when someone loses their autochtonous. And that's when you actually literally believe that your culture didn't um, come out of a migration, but that it actually, that you are, like you, the people grew up out of the ground like grass from the ground. So that they are inherently a part of the land uh, originally. So you do have some of those belief systems that emerge in the world. Um, you know, you have, and so just to give you an idea of the difference, you know, Jews, uh, in the Jewish religion, it's taught that um, they are promised certain land and they go there. And that's the story. The story says that, right? Mm -hmm. And so sometimes cultures are aware that they come from somewhere else or they have a story, whether they did or didn't, that they came from somewhere else. For others, the story says, "Hey, we've always been here. This is this is where we emerged from," and um, and, and it was also just since we're talking about a little bit of the controversy of the uh, um, physical anthropology and, and verse creationism and all that. There was the the Piltdown Man. Uh, there was a, a bones um, in uh, from from the British Isles that were seen to be uh, um, claimed to be one of the first Englishmen, uh, uh, as he was dubbed. And it was a hoax, and it took several decades to find out in about the 1950s, and I think that it came up around the beginning of the 20th century. And part of that uh, idea was to say that, that early humans come out of Europe. <clears throat> and in fact, um, it, scientists discovered that was a hoax. And, um, you know, the scientific community has basically uh, seen humanity coming from the places I, I you know, from Africa. Um, right now. So that's the consensus. Anyways, moving on. So, um, just to kind of talk again about, you know, um, things that pop up in the geological record that um, scientists uh, took note of and we in history is um, you do see in South Africa and Southern Africa rocks with geometric symbols more than a hundred thousand years ago, but we have no idea what they mean. Um, those are just, you know, observed that they were put there. Um, and you know, you start seeing things like cave art. Um, the burial of the dead is something that's noticed to be taking place around a hundred thousand years ago. That implies usually, right, uh, for, for the scholars that people were maybe believing in life after death or, you know, taking some sort of special honor of the dead by doing that. But, you know, again, that's hard to tell. Uh, uh, certain cultures um, still believe in honoring the dead and, and didn't see burial as, as important uh, to that. Um, so, you know, but ultimately it implies a, a thought about the afterlife. And you could start saying that, you know, you know, by the burial of the dead and burying them with certain items that, you know, a, a very fundamental aspect of all human cultures is that acknowledgement of uh, life and death together. And so many ideas philosophically come out of that, right? All right. Um, some significant prehistoric art is here the cave of uh, 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 Lesco cave in France. This is amazing, right? Uh, uh, this is, I mean, you look at just these pictures and it's an art gallery. And again, we have no idea why 
these paintings were, were put up in these caves and why cave art um, was seen in various places. Were people bored? Do, were they doing it just for art's sake? Does it have religious meaning? We don't know. And you can buy lots of books and people, uh, PhDs, telling you what, why they think, what, what they think they mean. <laughs> um, I think your guess is good as probably theirs for the most part, but all right. Now, I find this, this is really interesting. Um, all of these kind of larger women goddesses with no faces, um, this is really bizarre. So you have, these are two famous ones, the Venus of Ullendorf and, and this other one here in France. And you notice, so we have one in, I mean, sorry, Austria and the other one in France, no faces or, I mean, you know, you would think, oh, okay, there could have been a face and it got wore, wore off here, maybe in the art, like weathering over time, but there appears to just, this head's removed. So what's going on here? and large drooping breasts big hips this implies right a woman who had a lot of kids fertility so again this is where we you know we take our educated guesses but uh, all you know emerging from the same time period 30,000 to 15,000 years ago and um, what do they mean and uh, let's just look at some some other places so we see some in Germany, and then we go all the way to Turkey. And we're also seeing this large woman uh, uh, with drooping breasts. Again, you know, she looks like she had several kids. Was that considered erotic? Is this celebrating fertility? Is it merely, you know, doing art of women realistically? Uh, like, what... What were the motives and why did we see so many of these pop up? Did we have a, a, um, a society ruled by women and this body type was was completely seen as, as positive? I mean, we can just go on and on with the variables, but we see a lot of these. Okay, so um, actually, uh, I'm going to stop here and then we'll move on to the uh, next slide next lecture. <laughs>